The question of self-awareness and consciousness in animals is a tricky one to answer, because even we as humans still seem to struggle to define it for ourselves. The phrase cogito erosum, or in English, I think, therefore I am, is a rather popular quote from French philosopher René Descartes, which can be seen as sort of the foundation to consciousness research and already shows ambiguity. To be self-aware not only means to be aware of the own physical body and to reflect on own acts and the own existence, but also to be aware of the environment and acknowledge to be part of it amongst other beings. This includes showing compassion and other emotional processes. Two good examples in the animal kingdom would be wolves and orcas. Wolves are known to hunt in packs. They will share their food with the whole family and they even were observed to save and bring back food for old or hurt animals. Same thing is true for the orca, one of my absolute favorite animals. Similar to wolves, they often hunt in big groups. A lot of the times the older and more experienced animals will make the kill, but the food is always shared and the hunt is not over until everybody is fed. But that is not the only reason the orca is so fascinating and for sure self-aware. Stay tuned to learn more later in the video. Unfortunately though, in general, self-awareness in animals has gotten very little attention in research so far and very slowly gained some momentum in the last 20 or 30 years. Another obstacle is the big challenge of finding suitable methods to even start the research. Contrary to humans, the animals cannot communicate with the researchers, so studies of self-awareness can be tricky. But how can self-awareness in animals be measured then? Well, one basic way to identify self-awareness is with the mirror self-recognition test. This test was developed by Gordon Gallup in 1970 and has been used in the study of comparative psychology to this day. However, it has to be said that the mirror recognition test seems to be somewhat outdated and obviously can only show one aspect to self-awareness, the visual recognition of the own physical body in the reflective material. However, there are lots of animals who might use primarily other senses to survive and communicate and do not rely on their eyesight that much. Therefore, they wouldn't even be able to see really anything substantial in the mirror. So all in all, if an animal fails the mirror test, it does not necessarily mean they are not self-aware. However, the mirror recognition test does work to a certain extent and was successfully used many times before. It works by painting dots of colored paint or dye on the animal's forehead the animal then is introduced to a mirror. If it touches, inspects or interacts with the foreign dot on their body or maybe changes positions to better see it, the test is passed. Obvious candidates that have passed the test are the great apes bonobos, chimpanzees, orangutans and gorillas. Also on the list are bottlenose dolphins and Eurasian magpies. Another animal that is quite popular when it comes to self-awareness is the beluga whale. I haven't found information on if they have passed the mirror test, but they are highly intelligent and are believed to be self-aware. However, I also want to talk about two more species that have passed the test and on top of that show very strong signs of self-awareness. Elephants are highly social and emotional beings. They have not only passed the mirror recognition test, some elephants went as far as inspecting their whole body and even the inside of their mouth. Elephants are able to plan ahead, display physiological information, emotions like fear, anger and excitement, and also specific intentions and desires. For example, they can express themselves when it is time for the herd to do a specific thing or go to a specific place like a waterhole. Within their group or family, they will take care of each other, communicate in an intricate way and sometimes even have sort of rituals for deceased family members. All that shows that the elephant not only recognizes its own body, but is more than aware of others, loved ones and in general their connection to their environment. Orcas are absolutely fascinating animals and are with no doubt self-aware and highly conscious about their own being and others. And of course they have passed the mirror recognition test. And on top of that, just like elephants, orcas are super intelligent, very social beings with a wide range of emotions. Like we mentioned in the beginning, they usually hunt in big groups and always share the hunted prey. The mother orca and the older members of the family go to great lengths to teach the young ones not only to hunt, but also to use their very detailed language and many other things. 
The emotional connections within the family are very strong. One of the reasons for that is their highly developed brain and especially a part of that called insular cortex, also known as insula, which is the most elaborated in the world. The insula is involved in consciousness and diverse functions that are linked with emotions including compassion, empathy, perception, motor control, self-awareness and interpersonal experience. All that ultimately leads to long-time complex emotions and a very powerful empathy towards other members of their pod. But not only bigger and social beings like the orca, the great apes or elephants are known to be self-aware, there are also some unexpected species who have passed the mirror recognition test. In 2015 there was a study done on an ant species which seemingly recognized themselves in a mirror and inspected their body. Same is true for a little blue and black fish called Kleena Ress. A couple of years ago there was research done on them by evolutionary biologist Alex Jordan from the Max Planck Institute in Germany. After first attacking the mirror the fish slowly started to show unusual behavior like swimming upside down until they finally were seen to inspect the dot on their body and even to rub the spot on their body over the floor. The two tests on ants and the cleaner rest definitely shows some sort of self-recognition at the very least. Maybe even more, who knows at this point. But all this should make us realize that we basically know close to nothing Thing about self-awareness and consciousness in animals. We probably just have barely scratched the surface. Thank you very much for watching the video. Now at the end I'm super curious to know your thoughts on self-awareness in animals. Let me know in the comments below. Also if you enjoyed the video I would like to ask you to click on the like button and maybe even subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I usually upload every Sunday. But most importantly take care of yourselves and have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day.